All right. Another Russell pick. I'm going to always look for the weakest of the week until there's a big change in economic data or really the um, the Russell gets out of its stage three and really goes into a bona fide stage two on the monthly chart. Uh, I'm preparing for a four to six months, six to eight months, a time for really that economic data to roll over. And I'm preparing myself for to peak to pick the weakest of the Russell. And right now I got RH and big, big drop today. Uh, on the monthly chart, looks like that. We're going to zoom in 12 month and uh, one more day. I think Monday is the last day of March. But if it doesn't go back up, it's going to close below monthly defined breakdown line. Let's get an arrow, 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 arrow. Oh, where are my arrows? There would be my measured move. Oh, move that all the way here. So this is my greedy target. Where is that going to bring me? Copy. All the way down here to close to 70. So we have to go through this monthly defined support. So previous resistance turned support. That could slow us down a little bit. We could use that as areas where we think it might bounce back up. And after that, once we buzz, bounce back up to previous support turn resistance, and then we could get a good entry once a 12 month from starts going downwards. So this is the wall, previous su resistance turn support, and here's some natural support. So just with these levels where the price action is, right now we have some... Uh, um, areas where we know where we could expect the price action and expecting the price action is already helps you emotionally to not make crazy decisions when price daily moves up and down you're ahead of the game because you've uh, you've said oh, okay i'm hitting monthly defined resistance support i'm going to bounce back up if the volume's good then uh, you know it's a healthy pullback so how is it turning on the on the weekly uh, set up Russell comparing to the Russell. So if you're underperforming the Russell, why short the Russell? And this is negative. Whoa, look at that. This week minus 21%. And I'm pretty sure most of it was today. We're going to go check the volume. Look at that volume. Huge red volume. Huge, huge warning sign. A lot of big weakness. And in one shot, down below thir declining 30 week average down below the Ichimoku cloud, down below weekly defined support, which is right here, down below monthly defined support. So we're going to have to wait for the uh, next next Monday to see if it closes back above. If it doesn't, that is really some negative signs. This is never something you want to see here. Uh, you had a big warning sign right here, big red candle. And after that, you need the... Um, when you have those original big red candles in an uptrend, there are warning signs. They're not a catastrophe yet, but this warning sign was enough that it didn't crash right away because you still had that upwards momentum, but you still had to stick around for many, many, many weeks in a stage three. And eventually, as you see now, that was a precursor. That was uh, the omen. And right now, it could have went back up, but never went back above previous highs. And uh, right now, it seems to want to break down, guys, below Ichimoku Cloud defined support. And right now, that's probably going to flip soon. And we're going to start defining some red Ichimoku Cloud defined resistance, guys. So we're really close. Uh, we're ahead of the game right here. Um, an embryonic position could be taken here, but you have to expect... I would really wait for one day for the end of the month just to make sure you get that monthly defined closed. And if you get that closed below that monthly defined uh, support, it now becomes resistance and get that bounce back up. Might sink through that weekly defined, less important uh, resistance. And then after that, it bounce down. Let that 30-week moving average go back down. 
and then you get a good risk reward entry right here below that Ichimoku cloud, the defined support. Uh, well, resistance, but below. You don't want to go back in the cloud. You don't want it to suck you back up. And after that, here would probably be the best ideal position. You want still a few candles. So what might drive this back up and get a few more weekly candles is actually what we saw on the monthly. Remember on the monthly, you still have an inclining 12 months from average. 124, 125. So maybe one week or two more and we're going to get a flat and start declining 12 months from average. And you don't want to really fight that trend. So you don't want to be long because you close below the 12 months from average. But you, you really want it, if it starts really to turn over, and that's the beauty of a nice stage one or a base or a nice stage three base. When you're hogging that 12 month swing average and it's not a flash like surprise, oh, all that price action went down. Uh, it doesn't take much for it to start turning back up. And that's the beauty of uh, stage ones and stage threes. I want to go on the daily. I want to go see. Oh, wow. Big, big, big gap down. So I don't know what happened. But uh, this thing just gapped down severely. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait and see on the uh, Monday, see how that pans out. No rush, but definitely showing signs of big weakness. You don't want to see these big, big down days, these big down weeks. Um, not a good sign for any type of stocks. Why pray and hope that this goes back up? Uh, approaching the end of an uh, economic cycle, uh, the weakest ones are going to start uh, going down first. That money is going to go out. People are going to start putting that money in the bigger, uh, uh, more blue chip type stocks. So the, those risky assets are always going to start diverging. And that's what we're seeing now of the SPX and the NASDAQ, the Russell's diverging, uh, not as close to making its previous highs as the um, NASDAQ is uh, getting close to or the SPX or the Dow Jones. So that divergence for me is a big warning sign. People aren't putting their money back yet into those Russell stocks. Uh, so that's why I think it's uh, slowing down. And slowing down means stage three. Stage three means closer to stage four than I would be in the stage two. So all that, those odds are adding up towards the, the uh, playing stage fours. So just for now, look for those weak, weak, weak stage uh, four embryonic ones on the Russell. And when really it starts turning around, you're going to be ready to enter at these pullbacks right here. And if it goes down even more next month, but the 12 month marriage isn't still going downwards and you need more weeks. And then if it pulls back up, you get better, better entry points, all making lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. And that's just the beginning of a downtrend, guys. Just like that. This is very embryonic. There's no rush here. Just like here, you had a nice, nice base before you exploded up. All right. So RH showing big signs of weakness. And uh, let's keep an eye on it, guys. Thank you. Ciao.